Hey everybody, Kendra the Vet Tech here, and today we're gonna learn about the modified triadin numbering system. And what that is, is it's a numbering system to put a specific ID number on a specific tooth within your patient's mouth. And it's helpful because we, rather than saying, hey, take a look at that upper right first incisor, we can simply say, hey, take a look at 101. When we're discussing the numbering system, the mouth is broken down into four different arcades and each arcade has their own 100 block designation. So we'll take a look at our model here. We'll open our model mouth and take a look at it here. So we'll start on the upper right hand side and that's the 100s. Then we move over to the upper left for the 200s, lower left for the 300s and lower right are the 400s. I do wanna take a moment to let you guys know or remind you if you did already know that if your patient has retained deciduous or baby teeth, those have their own 100 numbers that work on the same pattern, but they will be 500, 600, 700, and 800. So if you have a patient that has a retained deciduous, do be sure to denote it correctly in their chart with the correct 100 block number. So any teeth within these respective arcades will have one, two, three, or four as the first number. And then the last two numbers designate which tooth it is in that particular arcade. So we have one through three set aside for our incisors. Four is our canine. Five, six, seven, and eight for our premolars. And then nine, 10, and 11 for our molars. And I also want to give you guys one more reminder that when we're speaking in right and left on this jaw, do note that it's your patient's right and left, not right and left as you're facing your patient. So this is the animal's right and left side of their jaw. Using the information we just learned, let's count out all the teeth on our canine jaw here. So we'll start in the upper right, our 100s, 101, to 103 for all of our incisors, 104 on our canine, 105, 6, 7, and 8, 109, and 110. Then you'll notice that our 200s will pop up those numbers and our 200s are a mirror image of our 100s. Moving down to our mandible and our 300s, we'll go 301, 2, and 3 for our incisors, 304 on our canine, 5, six, seven, and 308 for our premolars. And then canines do have three molars, so 309, 310, and 311. And once again, our opposite side of our mandible will be a mirror image, so we'll pop up the 400 numbers, and you'll see that they're exactly the same as our 300 numbers. Now that we know how to use this system, let's step up our game just a little bit here. So the important, there are other important components that go along with understanding the numbering system. That's also understanding the dental formula for the patient that you're working with. So let's switch up the species here and talk about how our dental formula fits into this. So I've got two dental formulas written up here on my board for you guys. The top one, two I three over three, C one over one, P four over four, M two over three. If you watch my demystifying the dental formula video, you'll know that's the dental formula for a normal healthy adult canine and they have a total of 42 teeth in their mouth. If you do need your dental formula broken down a little bit more to understand what all of this business means and, and how we interpret that, do check out my demystifying the dental formula video where I go in depth in that a little bit more. We're gonna move through these quickly today as this isn't the main focus of this video. Our second formula that we have up here, two I three over three, C one over one, P three over two, M one over one, equaling a total of 30 teeth, is a dental formula and the number of teeth that we'd see in a normal, healthy adult feline. So right away you can see the significant difference here of 12 teeth between a canine and a feline. This is where your dental formula as well as your rule of four and nine comes into play in how we will designate, designate numbers to these teeth in a feline. So let's throw up our feline dental chart here. 
So the first thing that I want to talk about is the rule of four and nine. The rule of four states that your canine tooth will always end in four. So that'd be our 104, 204, 304, and 404. And then the rule of nine states that the tooth ending in nine, number nine, will be your first molar. So in cats, on our dental formula, we learned that they only have one molar in each of their arcades. So the last tooth in the each arcade on this feline dental chart will be a number nine. So 109, 209, 309, and 409. Now, we have lots of spaces, not enough teeth to hit all the numbers that we talked about with the canine. And this is where process of elimination comes in by knowing your rule of four and nine. Because from our nine on our mandible, we can count down here, nine, eight, seven. And so since we have our four plugged in from our rule of four, now we know that a normal healthy adult feline will not have a 305 and a 306, as well as missing that 10 and 11 that the canine has. So this is the, how the numbering system works out for a normal healthy adult feline on the mandible. And then you'll also see if I pop up all the numbers here, you'll also see that there are a few that are missing on the upper jaw as well. And this is normal for our feline patients. So this is a really important concept to understand, not just in your day-to-day -day practice life between your dogs and your cat dentals, or looking down the barrel of a horse mouth where all of the cheek teeth look exactly the same. If you understand your patient's dental formula, the rule of four and nine, and how the triad numbering system works, now we can accurately know which teeth we need to on a dental chart if they're missing, fractured, or what have you. The other part of this that's really important for you guys to know is for your VTNE, your Veterinary Technician National Exam will likely have a question on there that will be phrased something like, what is the number of the first upper right incisor? And you'll be expected to pick that number from a multiple choice bank. And that wraps us up for today, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel so that you can check out all the new releases that I have for educational videos. If you have questions, comments, or things you'd like to learn about, feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can email me at kendrathevettech at gmail.com. You can catch me on Facebook or Instagram or through my website, kendrathevettech.com, where you can also find my newly released live learning sessions over pig general anesthesia and the art of veterinary call taking. You can also purchase my veterinary telephone triage flip book through my website as well. And don't forget to check out my podcast, Kendra the Vet Tech on your favorite podcast platforms where you can learn all kinds of great things about different career opportunities available for credentialed veterinary technicians and some other awesome topics. Thanks guys.